Hello everyone, this is Bobby Gano who here. Welcome to Let's Play a SpongeBob SquarePants Adventure of Flying Dutchman, Episode 7. In the last episode, we did jelly we did some jellyfishing. In this episode, we should be doing jellyfishing. You got jellyfish. Jellyfish! And, oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, last time we got yeah, and we also got the Jung World. Bus we got a bus ticket to Jung World, that's awesome. So now we're going to be exploring the last remains of the Jellyfish Fields finally. So yeah. And we're gonna be dealing with these horrible jellyfish. That will just not wait for you at all. Why have my complaints about these stupid jellyfish last episode? This is why. I just landed on the flower bed. Why would, did you do right now? That's so now hell yeah, I'm just waiting for him to come back. <sighs> come on. Fuck you. I don't swear that much. Um, there's no jellyfish. No, nah, I want those coins. Oh, fuck you. See, that's what I mean. Oh, you want to get coins? Well, too bad. I'm leaving then. Blech. Hi. Oh, come on! Yeah, I might as well kill myself and I'm back down here again! Wait, now get back all the way back up there now. Why? Oh, I hate this part, Jacob's Fields. I really do. See, so you said I can't get up there? Of course! You were impatient pieces of shit. Take me to the moon! No. There you go, I'm back up here again. Let's try this again, shall we? Actually, I can just jump over to here now, can I? Yeah, I can do that. Come back here! <sighs> Let's go wait for the blaster thing to come back again. There we go, now we're done with that absolute mess of a platform section. We're now at this old ship wreckage apparently. Okay. There's nothing really much here besides one the usual jellyfish coins and I believe there's a lead tower here somewhere too if I'm white. Yeah, I can see one right there. What, you don't see it? Let me get a better look. Yeah, it's down there. See? Hi. Also, there's some pants on there, though. I know how you managed to get up there, so... Mm. Also, what's the point of this area? There's nothing here. <laughs> okay. Get back up there, SpongeBob. Get back up there. Are you kidding me? Are you? It's going some way. I'm can we stuck here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Jeez. Okay. Let's go here, and there is the end. So it's now. 
Now we got Orange Bob. Yeah. There we go. I think there's every jellyfish in the entire game. I mean, <laughs> I mean every jellyfish in jellyfish fields. So yeah, there's a total amount of 84 jellyfish. So yeah, a lot of jellyfish in jellyfish fields. 84 of them. Again, you don't need to collect 100 jellyfish in jellyfish fields. Just need to collect 100 jellyfish in the total game. Because well, just clean on enough jellyfish to Jaybird to get 100 Jaybird and Jaybird's fields, there's only 84 Jaybird and Jaybird's fields. Jellyfish, 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 jellyfish. We doesn't launch me that high. Okay, I'll take this. One each stupid jellyfish. 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 Jelly 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 kelly lelly helly pelly selly telly kelly fish. Okay, so well you know we're finally done with exploring the entirety of jellyfish fields. What I gotta do is go back to that competition area and get a prize, the weep blower, which is actually the last costume. We get an entire game. About time. So I see I got like 127 J fish. It's in my game for reasons and Like yep. I told you before, it takes 100 jellyfish to win this competition. Well then feast your eyes on this stash, Rusty. We have a winner! Now you can choose one of the prizes inside the corral. Yay, and now we've got the yeah, so it's now Sonja Bob. always wanted a Reef Blower 2500. What a great prize. Not that hunk of junk. But this, this is what I want. The Reef Blower that defines Reef Blowers. Okay. Go ahead and try it on to make sure it fits. Snails! Gee, uh, sorry about that. I've never used one of those before. <laughs> From now on, use a changing tent to put on that reef blower, just to be safe. You can press the action button to roll something big with it, or to activate a fan. And some critters are actually afraid of the reef blower, like my poor old racing snails. How will I ever get them back into my corral? <laughs> Don't worry, Rusty. I'll herd all your snails back into the corral for you using this. <laughs> okay, so now we finally have access to the last costume in the game, the Weed Blower. It can't really hurt anything, but what you can do with Weed Blower is you can use it to push objects into various places like these snails. We can use the Weed Blower to push these snails into these into this uh, area, and there we go. Go back in there. So that's basically guess it, how you use the weed blower. All my snails are accounted for. And there's the pee. Guess same again for a grab it, just in case of a game crash. There we go. The third level where we got all the layer tiles. Huzzah! And the game first. <sighs> Good thing I said, huh? So yeah, the game first. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, never sliding towel puzzle. Again, I just don't know why this is a thing. I could easily cut this bit out. It serves nothing. Bring it around town. I always look forward to that. Bring it around town. Stop. That would take three times. One, two, three. And perfect frost. Woo! Woo! 
Ooh, W Y Bird, don't you forget it. Now it's time to bring it around. Wait, 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 don't, don't, don't. And then you do this, and this, and this, and this, and, this, and then. Oh, I might mixed up the ball technique a bit, but oh well. <laughs> so yeah. Now we gotta find the treasure in James' fields. Again, you, you use the tuning fork to locate where the treasure is. At. It's actually a completely different area to the one you spawned in, so. But if you play through this game for like I have, you way know where the treasure is, so. The only thing to do is just to get there. And. Getting there is actually gonna be quite the pain. Take me out there, you annoying jellyfish. Okay. As you well, know, you can't change costumes while you're treasure hunting. You're stuck with this one costume only. Uh, which uh, I don't know what to say. Okay. Now I'm not focused on collecting all the coins. I can actually deal with these things. Well, okay, I got pretty unlucky there. <laughs> so I gotta go to the ship. And then go to that specific. Hey, we could already. We could already get there by. Drop buttons. That's sail, but this be a sail. And there's the treasures hidden in this corner. Oh man, that's very well hidden. <laughs> and we get the Flying Dutchman's glasses. And a place the only treasure that's not disgusting. Oh, well, let's see who gets kidnapped this time. SpongeBob! <sighs> oh, where is he? I'm tired of being alone all the time. Prepare yourself, pudgy pink one, for you shall soon be part of my pirate crew. Part of a pirate crew? Oh, goody, goody, goody! I won't be alone anymore. Uh, okay now. I'm just going to hypnotize you so we can... What are we waiting for? Let's get going already. So, um, uh, just keep your eye on this patty. Listen, am I going to be part of your crew or not? <sighs> okay, that was funny. So I guess the flying doctor has technically kidnapped Patrick. I know Patrick wanted to be on his crew, so you can't recall a kidnapping. So I don't know. He's got Patrick now, but... I guess there's no plot on because Patrick wants to be given that, I guess. Eh. So there you go, we're finally done with Jellyfish Fields. That took them to quite a while. So, what's the next level we gotta do? Hey, Larry's here. What are you doing up here, Larry? Hi, Larry. Where does this bus go? Everyone knows this is the bus to Goo Lagoon, the land of eternal sun and surf. I'm just waiting for my friend to show up so I can give him my extra bus ticket. An extra ticket? Can I borrow it for a while? I haven't been to Goo Lagoon in ages. Sorry, little dude. I only have one extra bus ticket. Please? Nope. No can do. But I just want to borrow it. Listen, nothing will convince me to give away this extra ticket. Well, maybe for 50 jellyfish, which I can use to make my favorite snack. Ah, uh, so yeah, here's the second and last sign that you're required to collect jellyfish in order to progress through the game. You need to catch a hundred. Now, yeah. Not only do you need to collect a hundred jellyfish in the game in order to be a jellyfish costume, but you need to collect an extra 50 jellyfish in order to access school lagoon. So yeah, you need 150 jellyfish in total in order to beat this game. Also yeah, we finally got those coins that were hidden in Squidward's garden. So yeah, now I've completely done with Wikipedia. Now... Pikini Potum. Why did I add the peas? I don't know. 
keep on. And back to the Jayfish costume. So, what's the next level we're heading to? Jung World. Yes, we finally get get to see what this theme park is like. <laughs> so, let's see what it's like. Look out, Chum World! Here I come! So yeah, Chum World! Finally here! And <laughs> actually has some new musical ones. They'll play no matter what costume you're wearing. Why can only have a lot be like that? So yeah. Here's the way to go back to the key bonds you want to get out, Chum World. And yes, like, there are coins hidden in the balloons. Gotta know that for later. But anyways, next time let's play SpongeBob SquarePants Adventure of Flying Dutchman, which I'll be getting started on Chong World. So I'll see you later, guys.